okay friends now let us talk about uh, some very important uh, um, sugar residues which can we, we which we can find in uh, making hard shell like structures uh, sometimes they we can find them in bacterial cell walls sometimes we can find them in uh, in structures like our bone like our ligament cartilage and all these things like that so basically what we are going to talk is about uh, the glycans or what we can say is uh, the proteoglycans normally these are called the glycoconjugates so what do we mean by those glycoconjugates actually glycoconjugates uh, means uh, there are some pro some uh, glycogen moiety that means some glucose moiety or some sugar moieties are out there which are eager to attach with other protein moieties or it can also be attached to lipids or it can also attach with themselves to make a chain so uh, uh, so when they are attached with uh, proteins we call them uh, proteoglycan when they are attached to lipids we call it lipo uh, glycolipids and sometimes they are just making chains by attaching with one another so in this picture what we can look at some of the sugar moieties which are really really important uh, to make those kind of structures for example we first we talk about hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid so what is the structure of this hyaluronic acid as you can see here we have the d glucuronate and we have acetyl d glucosamine so along with uh, n acetyl glucosamine and the glucuronate or glucuronic acid as we know that uh, glucuronic acid can be made from glucose if we uh, just move hydrogen from this sixth carbon position okay C double H from the here hydrogen is released to CO minus it is making the glucuronic acid and we have N acetyl glucosamine in this case in, in N acetyl glucosamine we have this uh, NH group especially NH group uh, at, attached to uh, the second uh, carbon position uh, with the second carbon so direct nitrogen bond uh, bond with nitrogen you can see is making the N acetyl glucosamine to combine with this we can have this hyaluronic acid now we can find this hyaluronic acid in bacteria bacterial cell wall because remember N acetyl glucosamine and N acetyl muramic acid both type of things can be found in cell walls uh, vigorously especially in peptidoglycan layer now let us talk about uh, the chondroitin sulfate in this case chondroitin sulfate uh, in, in chondroitin sulfate is made up with glucuronic acid and N acetyl glucosamine uh, but slightly different than the hyaluronic acid because in this case the N acetyl galactosamine we can find instead of glucosamine so in this galactosamine what is the difference in this case we ha we are having an sulfate moiety attached to uh, this uh, six carbon pos uh, position actually there is no carbon instead of this carbon we are having uh, this instead of actually fourth carbon without being uh, without having a carbon moiety uh, in this sorry so exactly uh, there is a carbon but still uh, instead of having an hydroxyl group we are having sulfate group in this position so uh, is uh, O3SO this is the group uh, in presence of this group what we can we are producing an N acetyl galactosamine four sulfate so it's a position of fourth carbon the surface is attached so this is very important this chondroitin sulfate we can find them in various uh, places in uh, in an animal body like mammals we can find it in our ligaments uh, and we also you can find this kind of structure in the epithelial cells to, to to make them stronger to tie them together really really tightly now let us look at the keratin sulfate as we can see this keratin sulfate is really important components for uh, making this keratins as we can know so here we have the galactose again uh, in all this case we have gl uh, glucuric acid but in this case we have the galactose and this galactose is attached with the N acetyl galactosamine 6 phosphate that means a phosphate moiety uh, sorry not a phosphate is sulfate sorry a, a sulfate moiety is attached uh, to the 6th carbon uh, position so it is attached with the 6th carbon uh, so hydroxyl is no, never there so we can see whenever we are having in case of dermatin sulfate 2 uh, again it is a 4 sulfate that means uh, the substitution at the 4th carbon uh, substitution at the 4th carbon position actually in all these spaces when we are thinking thinking about this sulfate moieties are attached to a sugar then we can see it it only re, uh, replaces the hydroxyl moiety so whenever the hydroxyl is generally used to present with this four carbon position because here 
is one age another one is has to be a OH so in this case uh, this OH this hydroxyl is displaced uh, by this sulfate uh, moiety so the sulfate moiety is present in this fourth position in case of chondroitin 4 sulfate along with dermatin sulfate but in case of keratin sulfate we have the sixth uh, six sulfate or n acetyl galactosam glucosamine 6 sulfate in all these cases what we are having we are having glycosaminoglycan what do we mean by glycosaminoglycan it is uh, it is something which is called n acetyl glucosamine so it is a part it is a type of glycosaminoglycan glycan or glucosaminoglycan where you can find so it's a glucose with which the amine group is attached in all these places you can see this glucose residue is not as it is as the normal residue this is slightly modified because in all these moieties uh, an amine group is attached with the second carbon position that's why they are called a glycosaminoglycan or glucosaminoglycan and this glycosaminoglycans are really really important uh, um, important part of our uh, structural uh, basis because in sometimes they give us structural strength not sometimes many times they are providing us the structural strength we can find them in cell membrane we can also find them in extracellular matrix in most of the time what are those extracellular matrix proteins actually as we know a cell presents a cell is uh, having a layer which is uh, cell membrane in case of plant cell we have a hard shell uh, outer the cell membrane which is called uh, cell wall but normal in normal situations in animal cells we have only cell membrane but this cell membrane is not enough for a cell to be properly placed in the cell lining so we need other interactions with the cell to make it properly placed in a particular position so in these cases this particular positioning is done or is uh, facilitated by using this kind of glycosaminoglycans or specially known as GAGs. Now among these GAGs we have N-acetyl glucosamine, we also have N-acetyl muramic acid and we also have N-acetyl neuramic acid. So all this type of glycosamine uh, in, uh, acids that we have talked about are the slight modification of normal sugar because uh, amine group attached to all this type of sugar moieties to the second carbon position. Okay. Now if I go slide with down, now we also have another type uh, like chondroitin 6 sulfate like the chondroitin 4 sulfate. In this case instead of uh, placing the sulfate group at the 4th carbon we are placing it at the 6th carbon position and we also have a heparin sulfate. Uh, so in this case as we can see we can have the heparin sulfate or we can also call it an heparin. We know the importance of heparin because the heparin is really really important part. Uh, it has been carried out by our blood cells and it is really really important it's really necessary for us to live on so there are uh, this di many different important ingredients uh, uh, of our cell uh, are present of our body are there which are being made by this glycosaminoglycan residues glycosaminoglycan sugar moieties and we can see now how this glycosaminoglycan moieties arranged together uh, to make this extracellular matrix now how this extracellular matrix is going to be formed i have a separate lecture to talk about those uh, those moieties those uh, actually those extracellular matrix preparation how those extracellular matrix is being prepared uh, so this is all about this glycosaminoglycan and modified sugars by attaching amino group to it so in all these cases we find they are substituted the second carbon position is substituted with uh, this amine group uh, this NHCOCH3 group but except for this heparin because in heparin we are having not NHCOCH3 group instead of that we are having NHSO NHOSO whole 3 group NHOSO3 group Okay, so that's it and I hope that's going to help you. Thank you.